food. David Venable is standing by with a great two hour in the kitchen with David. He's starting the show with what I hear is an awesome gluten free cookbook. Take it away, David. My heart is beating for you, Jill, and the good food. Yes, it is. Good evening, everyone. We've got a big, big two hour show tonight, and we've got a really exciting cookbook, as Jill mentions, to lead off our show and a whole lot more. It's the Wednesday night edition of In the Kitchen with David. Two big hours, and it all starts right about now. It is 8 o'clock on a Wednesday night, and that means it's our time together in the kitchen, and we continue our month-long salute to Fall Harvest Home Cooking. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Venable, and this is In the Kitchen with David. Two big hours tonight, and boy, do we have some great things lined up for you, and I know so many of you, including our Mary loves gluten-free cooking and needs to have gluten-free cooking in their diet. We've got the brand new Volume 2 the How Can It Be Gluten-Free Cookbook from our friends at America's Test Kitchen. Every single one of the 190 recipes, Mary, all have a photo. They also are all gluten-free. Mary, how about strawberry rhubarb pie with a gluten-free pie crust? Yeah. This is strawberry rhubarb pie. It's my most favorite pie in the world. I love this pie. Very excited about that. Also coming up, how about chocolate cream filled cupcakes? Do you see my cheat notes back here? It says chocolate cream cupcakes. This is how I know what to call each of the recipes. I've now let you see behind the curtain. All right, there we go. All right, so that's chocolate cream cupcakes. And down front, chicken enchiladas, Mary. But guess what? Corn tortillas are naturally gluten free. There's nothing unusual about this recipe except we threw in some corn tortillas. There are 190 recipes in this book, and over 3,600 have been ordered since Sunday. This book is going to be smoking. $19.96, and we continue with Fall Harvest Home Cooking. And tonight we're making my chicken parm casserole. This is so good, so cheesy, and so yummy. All right, what we've already done is we have boiled off and drained a pound of penne pasta. Now that's already inside my big mixing bowl. If you don't yet have one of these big, big mixing bowls, I highly recommend them. They're great for making salads, they're great for prepping your casseroles and whatnot. Then we went to the supermarket and we bought pre-breaded, pre-cooked, boneless chicken tenders and we cut them in half. They all go inside the pool. Then we're going to add to that a jar of your favorite marinara sauce. And everybody's got their favorites, so just get that jar of marinara and get that into your mixture. We'll go ahead and get all that down inside to make this nice and tomatoey and delicious. Then comes time for cheese. There's provolone. There's Asiago, which has a nice salt bite. Love Asiago, one of my favorites on Caesar salad. And then some Parmesan cheese. All of this is going to get tossed together so that all of the pasta and the chicken pieces are evenly coated with your marinara sauce and also the cheese mixture. So give this a couple more tosses. That's why I like to use these big bowls because you can really get in here and get it all covered. Then we're going to take our 13 by 9 Temptations Baker. <laughs> and get this mixture down inside. We've already sprayed the inside with a little nonstick cooking spray. I just do that for extra insurance because it just helps because this is a very, very cheesy recipe because don't think we're done with cheese yet, kids. Mary, we still have more cheese to put on top. All right, now get this all in your 13 by nine, smush it flat, that's a culinary term. Get that all taken care of. And then a little later, we're going to do another blend of cheeses on top. Get this into the oven and look how delicious it is when it is all baked off. Talk about fall harvest goodness. You can also freeze these and serve them later. So make these ahead, which is great for autumn busy schedules. Hey, Mark Charles is in the oven today. Not in the oven. He's in the kitchen where the ovens are. Yes, he is. If you're in the oven, it would be a little Hansel and Gretel up in here. Um, what we're talking about is Mark Charles with his brand new one time only value. This is the MCM 360 Colored Hard Anodized six quart pot. Now, this is a one time only value price of $49.62. I've got more good news for you. It's on easy pay. Two easy payments of $24.81. But did you know that if you have a cue card, any item in any category, you can put on three pay? How you doing three pay? This is K40873 and I have it in great colors. I have it for you in Merlot, steel blue, emerald, and the brand new black we've never done in the MCM 360 line before. This is all hard anodized with ceramic nonstick coating. 
It's amazing. One time only value, the lowest price you'll see in 12 months. Then we have a hot pick coming your way from Temptations, and these are the concentric bowls. You're getting five pieces. This is over eight quarts of total capacity. You can mix in these, you can bake in these, you can serve in these, you can store in these. They're amazing bowls. We have them in all your floral lace colors, including the brand new fall that we've never offered in this bowl set before. And then also we have Old World with two brand new colors there, Harvest and Fall Fetty. They're not new colors to Old World, but they're new colors to this set. So we'll be talking to you about that. It's on two easy payments. It's top rated. It's a customer requested item. Can't wait for you to see it. It's all coming your way. But right now, Time for us to sharp with Cookbook Corner, and this particular item is one that was on our Sunday show, and it's back in our show tonight, and we're so excited about this because all of you remember the first volume of How Can It Be Gluten-Free from America's Test Kitchen. That was a wild runaway bestseller on QVC, and so the good folks at America's Test Kitchen, well, they came up with volume two. With 190 brand new recipes, no repeats from the first book, I can also tell you that there is a, there's a color photo with every single recipe. Now, we also wanna let you know that we've got our Julia here, from America's Test Kitchen, and it's great to have you Hello. back. Hello, Chef. It's so nice to see you. Mwah, great to see you. This is such an amazing book because so many of our foodies are gluten free. Yes. Or they're cooking for family members who yes. are. And they find that it is just so difficult sometimes to feed a whole family when not everybody is gluten that's free. Right. That's right. That is very hard. And when you think about kids, you need cupcakes, you need um, enchiladas, you need things that are every day, and they don't mm. want anyone to be left behind. You don't want that one person to be like, uh, odd man out. I mean, gluten-free one. Here's the one thing to remember about America's Test Kitchen. They do all the testing so you don't have to. Well, that's the thing. And when it comes to gluten-free, you can't just take a gluten-free blend that you buy at the store and put it in any recipe expected to work. Even if they tell you it was, it won't work. Right. You really, you have to tweak the recipe. You have mm -hmm. to go down on fat. You have to go up on liquid. You've got to change the baking times. And who better than America's Test Kitchen to be our mm -hmm. roadmap through yeah. this process, which is just great. Now, I was telling you before the show, when I was uh, in college at UNC Chapel yes. Hill, I would go for <laughs> study breaks and buy the chocolate cream filled oh, cupcakes, a yeah. couple pints of milk, go back to my dorm mm. room and that was my study break when so I was good. studying for exams. <laughs> this is amazing. You've made these chocolate cream filled cupcakes gluten free. What's yes. the secret? Well, the secret obviously is in the cake and when you deal with gluten free cakes, they very often come, they turn out leaden. And so we have a couple tricks to make them not leaden. Of course, we mess with the leavener, but you add a little extra liquid and you go down on fat and pretty, mm. so it's pretty Ooh. straightforward. Ooh, but you know oh. what you, look, 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 look. Oh, isn't that good? Man. Mary, <laughs> would you look at this? This is chocolate cream filled cupcake. Well, and if you're gluten free, you haven't had one of these in years, if ever, mm. and you're missing mm. out. I uh -huh. mean, this uh -huh. is like one of the mm -hmm. ultimate cupcakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Back up unless you want to get something on you. Ready? <laughs> Happy dance, Mary, first one of the show. Oh, Mary, mm. I'll save you one. <laughs> so, so good. Isn't that good? And, and they're so moist, Julia. Yeah. Yeah, again, you wouldn't believe it's gluten free. You would you have no would. idea if you made these for a kid's birthday party or this, which is like the fun fetty, the celebration cupcakes. It's easy. Uh, you just put some colored sprinkles in the cake mix, and our cake mix is super easy. Mm. It uses a little white chocolate. It is mm. amazing. Hey, can I tell you also that every single one of these recipes comes with a photo? That's right. So you're going to love the fact that these recipes are signature Americans. Oh, there are the uh, rainbow sprinkle Hello. cupcakes. So easy to do. So there are your cupcakes. Mm -hmm. Think about this. Every single recipe comes with a photo. There are also some progressive photos on here, some how-to pictures, which are really helpful. You're also going to find that they're going to give you great suggestions. Hey, gluten-free pizza crust. Oh, that crust. deep dish pizza, it is so good. And these are so marvelous. No repeats from nope. the first nope. How Can It Be Gluten-Free Cookbook. Nope. There's the chicken enchilada. There's the beef pot pie we're doing mm -hmm. tonight. There's a whole comfort food chapter. And so again, you don't want, you want to just make dinner. You don't want to make a special portion of gluten-free stuff that's less than the main course. And so this means everyone can eat the same thing. It's going to taste just as good. Well, can I tell you that this is so exciting tonight because it's $19.96. But let me tell you also, if mm. you have a cue card tonight, you can get this item on three easy payments. Whoa. But that's only if you have a cue card. So call us and let us know if you got your cue card. We can put this on three easy payments for you. Mm. We have chicken enchiladas, we have we beef pot pie. Oh, this pot Remember, pie. Remember, all of these are great comfort classics. 
but this pie crust is yeah, gluten free. That's right. And you know, this was one of the hardest recipes for us to do because the simplest recipes are the hardest. Right. There's not many ingredients in pie and one of the biggest ones is flour. So we use our flour blend and of course you can mm. use store bought blends, but the pie, you gotta taste the pie crust. I it's am. Flaky and buttery and you would never know that it's not a real pie crust. You I never know. It tastes better than many pie crusts you can already buy at the store, like mm. those rollout crusts. Oh, it's so good. This, it is so easy. Oh, I and, love it. And the beef pot pie, of course, it has a thickener in it, which we work around. Bagels, one of the number one requested recipes by people who are gluten free. These are gluten free bagels? Right here. Now, I have one for you. I just toasted it up. With a little cream cheese? I'm going to put just a little cream cheese on it. And, Mary, I got some bagels for you because I'm sure you haven't had a bagel in a while. Come on, Mary, get it over here, oh. girl. Yeah. Oh, I know. I was thinking. Mary, this is your book, it, baby. I know. Here, let's put some cream cheese on there. Oh, you know what? Mary. I'll have this one for Mary. Oh, all right. Oh, that's nice. All Mary, right. this is hot out of the toaster. It's oh, a little, yeah. it's a little, little hot. I mean, Mary, when's the careful. last time you had a bagel? Mm. I mean, bagels, donuts. More than two years. Yeah. This it, is first bagel for you in over two years? I have to, yes. And I have to ask you, would you, do you see anything missing? No. It's, a, it's a regular bagel, and they're not hard to make. Same mm. consistency. But the thing is, yeah, mm. you just need to have the right recipe, a recipe that works every time you make it. We made these bagels over 100 times in the so test kitchen good. so that they will, recipe will work. And I, <coughs> please go oh, ahead. No, I was going to say, people come to social all the time and say, you know, what do you recommend for a gluten-free cookbook? I always say America's Test Kitchen. Always, always, always. Because America's Test Kitchen explains what gluten is, right. and then they teach you the foundation and that. the base to mm -hmm. build your gluten-free library. All you need is in that book. It's amazing. Gonna, Everybody, oh, well, try oh, this cupcake, just honey. while you're here, oh, honey. You just totally have to gorgeous bagel. Like, snark yeah. that down. Well, you know, we also have dairy-free variations for many of the baked goods, because a lot of people are gluten-free or dairy-free, and we did all that testing for you. So this is shipping on the 13th of October, and I'll tell you that we've already taken orders for it. Mm. 4,600 this week. That means over 1,000 in this show tonight. That's right. Everybody is understanding there is a mm -hmm. better way to eat gluten free, and you need the pros in America's Test Kitchen to lead the way, right? Oh, mm -hmm. Would you ever believe that's gluten free? <laughs> no. Isn't it amazing? It's so good. Thank you. Good? You're welcome, Mabel. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. Yes. Well, nice to see Here, you. Here, take one to Leslie, too. You know how she loves a cupcake. <laughs> Here, just put it in. There you go. We don't mind hands. Right? Uh, so Look it out for you, baby girl. This mm. book also, we're introducing a whole grain blend. And so when you think about gluten free, Ooh. people don't have that weedy flavor and there's a whole grain blend in this crust this is a, a pecan bar that right? is a pecan bar Ooh, here and we go. so we have a handful of recipes mm. that use this whole grain blend isn't that it's amazing so moist and chewy yeah and buttery and yes pecan -y. i can taste the butter yes isn't that good oh that's delightful i know and again oh, you good. never know you could just bring this to a bake sale you could bring it to a school party and again you're not leaving the gluten-free people out I'm telling you, if you're looking for the best in gluten-free cooking, you're going to find it with America's Test Kitchen. I have friends who are not affiliated with QVC mm -hmm. who cook from this book. Not yeah. this book, they cook from the first one. This is brand new. And I'll mm -hmm. tell you, everyone's loving the fact that America's Test Kitchen is doing all the hard work and the multiple testing yep. to get the recipes right. And mm -hmm. you know what? You can always count on America's Test Kitchen recipe to work because yep. it's been tested by chefs over and over and over again. That's right. Quick bite of chicken enchilada. Yeah, I'm going to have some of this too. Ooh, you just have I this love, for your supper. Yeah, it's all in how you treat the corn tortillas before you roll them up so they mm. hold together. It's so good. I know. Oh, oh it's so nice to I see you. I adore you, you sweet thing. Hey, let me tell you, for the week, Oh, okay, 1,500 ordered in this show. That brings us to over 5,000 for the week. It's mm -hmm. so great to see it's you. It's so nice to thank see you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Stay on the line here. We're also going to let you know Mark Charles is coming up with his one-time only value. We're 10 minutes away from this. Remember, this is a hard anodized six quart non stick cooking vessel. Talk about chili, check that out. Six giant quarts in there. You're also going to love the fact that this is a ceramic non stick, so it's really, really easy to keep clean and they're delightful. Don't miss out on these. They're coming up in four great colors. This is the lowest price you're going to see for a year. And I'll tell you also, it's on two easy payments of $24.81. That price will only last until end of day today or until we sell out, whichever comes first. Mary, Mary, never contrary. It is so good to see you. Welcome home. Missed you, my friend. Well, it was good to have the weekend off, but we're always thrilled to come home. And no worries, we're in it for the long haul. Look at me. You got a little bit right From here. right now all the way through the holidays, we're here, even Stephen, every every show. That's the truth. That Vacations is the truth. are over <laughs> until Christmas. <laughs> Hey, and we're live, so we are actually here. A um, couple things I wanted to share with you, if I may. My apron matches your shirt? Yes. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. makes three. Right. And uh, the second thing is, happy chativersary. It's our four-year chativersary on In the Kitchen with David. We've been chatting.